the KX News Storm Team. Welcome back, everybody. We have a new wind advisory that was issued for basically our entire viewing area in North Dakota here. This is going to go until 9 o'clock tonight. Winter weather advisory back off towards the east. We're dealing with very strong winds out there and blowing snow with reduced visibility. We, in fact, have a wind chill advisory out there right now. This will go in effect later tonight, last until 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon for some of our eastern counties. This is a sign, yeah, that the Arctic air certainly is moving in. Here's a live look at the radar, and you can see, yeah, we got a band of light snow moving on through. Now, it's not accumulating all that much, but as it does move through, certainly does reduce visibility. In fact, we had some whiteout conditions almost here in Bismarck not that long ago. Kind of almost caught me off guard looking at it out there. Uh, looked up at our camera and uh, it couldn't see much of anything out there. Uh, trying to show you the camera right now. Doesn't look like it's going to come up, but uh, you can see a lot of snow moving on through the area. There's a live look at Bowman. We're getting some blue sky here, but also we're getting these uh, little convective snow showers that push through. So it starts snowing a little bit and then it'll taper off. We get to see a little more blue sky. So current conditions right now in Bowman is 19 degrees, but look at the winds out of the north northwest at 26 miles per hour. It does give us a wind chill currently of one degree. Look at the these temperatures, we've already fallen, already at this hour, fallen below zero. Actual temperature in Crosby at two below. Three degrees, that's it in Stanley. Now seven degrees in Williston. You can certainly tell that that cold air moving on in from the northwest. Cold front has now cleared the area. Temperatures are taking a nosedive out there. And there are the winds. They're strong. Northwest sustain 20 to 30 miles per hour. Look at that Harvey actually sustained at 39 miles per hour. My goodness, look at these wind gusts. 43 miles per hour in Garrison, 46 miles per hour there in Dickinson. Hedinger recording a wind gust of 47 miles per hour. And actually, just within the last hour, we had some stronger wind gusts than that, shooting up to near 50 uh, miles per hour. Look at these wind chills. We have a wind chill of 30 below right now in Crosby. We're not messing around here. Arctic air surging back into the area. Again, we are not done with winter just yet. I'm going to try to show this camera here one more time. See it if we'll cooperate because I really do want to show you the camera from the Bismarck area there. Uh, there it is. Now, looks pretty good. A little bit of blue sky, but just about uh, 30 minutes to an hour ago, couldn't really see much of anything as these snow squalls progress. So if you do end up under one of these snow squalls, note that visibility will be reduced significantly. It won't last too long. You can see, again, scattered snow showers. One of our models spitting out here. By later tonight, it looks like the snow showers will basically be tapering off. We'll have these strong northwesterly winds through the night. And here we go, waking up tomorrow morning, high pressure building in the northwest. We still have the northwest winds. That's why things are going to be really cold out there as we wake up tomorrow morning. Those wind chills will be well below zero. That's why we have the wind chill advisory. It'll remain cold through the day tomorrow as high pressure moves on in. However, as we go into Saturday, warmer air starts to surge from the west. That'll give us a chance of snow, maybe a little bit of rain mixed in with that through the day Saturday. And then sunshine and warmer temperatures coming back to the forecast. Lows tonight, temperatures dropping down into the teens and single digits below zero. Of course, the winds are going to make it even worse than that. Highs tomorrow, only single digits and teens above zero. But it's going to be the last cold day we see for a while. Check this out. Dickinson, we're going from the teens tomorrow to 50 degrees on Saturday as that front moves on through. Again, there'll be another chance for some light snow on Sunday. Williston, your temperatures in the teens to the upper 40s on Saturday with slight chances for precipitation. And light snow on Saturday and Sunday. My not temperatures in the single digits. That's it. Then we're out warming up into the upper 30s on Saturday after a very cold start to the morning. Could be a little bit of light rain and snow. And then Bismarck temperatures in the teens tomorrow. And then we're going to be into the 40s and 50s from that point on. Looking like chances for a light precipitation Saturday morning and then again maybe Sunday evening, guys. All right. Thanks so much, Dave. Coming up next, being a champion for the